Okay, so this is my Quantum Smoke Inshore Baycaster, and I'm going to change the paddle handle to a power knob type. Received my handle package today. Um, I'll add the product link in the description below so you know where I got it from. Let's just open it up and see what it looks inside and see if, if I had to uh, make the right choice. Let's see, small bubble wrap the package. Not the best packaging for sure. Let's hope nothing is damaged. And we have the aluminum knob. Uh, looks pretty with the dark blue accent color uh, and it's very, very light. I don't know what's inside the knob. Uh, we'll need to open it up later to check. But overall, it feels pretty nice and pretty sturdy. Before getting the handle, I had to check the opening size uh, on the handle to make sure it fits. Most of the uh, dimensions are in metric. You'll need to convert and confirm the main shaft will go through them. Uh, otherwise, uh, you'll just be wasting time and money. Uh, check. Let's see what else is in the package. So we have a nut cap, a screw, and a cap washer. I think I know what to do with those. First, we remove the nut cap like so. Um, some bait caster doesn't even have uh, have one. Uh, and also, um, make sure that you have a towel on the surface that you're working on in case the screws and nut drops off and um, bounce off to some place that you can't find it later. Um, next, we remove the nut from the uh, main shaft. Okay, then that should come off really easily. Um, now we just need to remove the existing handle. Now we just need to place a new one in and it should fit pretty well. Looks pretty good uh, with no plate around the opening. Now we need to protect the nut and tighten it up, then add the nut cap and the screw to secure to the handle. And that is it. That's all you need to do. And don't forget to put the old handle, the nut, and screw away because uh, you never know when you're going to change your mind later. Um, so the reason I changed the handle is because I plan to use this reel for micro and slow pitch chicken this year around the, um, the sound and the back bay. I'll be bouncing metal range from quarter ounces to five ounces uh, from the bottom and all the way through the water column. The power handle would afford me uh, more torque, more power, I would imagine. Um, and I think it would be able to handle the bigger bluefish or the striped bass around here. Um, to find out, I actually need to take it out for a spin this May. Um, let's see how it go. Let's put on my chicken rod. Let's see how it look and how it feel. Not too bad at all. Here are some close-up photos of the reel. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, a dislike, or a sub. I appreciate it. Thank you.